Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, my diecast world. Well, let's see what you guys are looking at right now. Uh, you guys probably already re recognized it. If you're a fanatic of Porsche, or German cars, or exotic cars, you're looking at the right car. This is a Porsche Panamera Diesel. I never thought they were going to make these cars in a diesel, but they made them. This is a 143 scale. And it's a beauty. It's a real beauty. Porsche was one of those brands, one of those exotic brands that expanded their brains and looked at the world of what are they selling most. They say, hmm, I see SUVs are very popular. Let's start making them. So they started making the Cheyenne. And the it's another one, it's a smaller one. I have it, but I don't remember the name now. But, and then they said, hmm, what are we missing? Let's start making some luxury family cars. And they came out with the Panamera. Smart move. They opened, they expanded their market, not only sports cars. You know, other brands out there in the past came out with a like, SUV like Lamborghini, which was a very weird, very weird and very um, selective taste for some people. It was not the most attractive SUV. I forgot what was it. It, looked, it was not an SUV. It was more like a pickup for Lamborghini so it, didn't, it was not really popular but now they these brands are starting to open their minds and now they are coming up with models beyond the sports cars Lamborghini also came with SUV uh, I think Ferrari made a four-door like a sports car four-door so they are opening and they're seeing that sports car only it's not just what money makes and what people want to drive. People want to drive cars like these. Look at this car. You have a family of four? Check. You love Porsche? Check. You love this racing style? Bingo. You can't ask for more. This is a beauty right here. Now the Porsche Panamera. Let's see. They started making them from 2010 till now. So they, you know, they, they've been out there already for over, for 11 years, these models. They remodeled it a little here and there, but they started, they've been out there for quite a while. It's just that so modern looking that the model kind of sticks around. And this front kind of reminds me of a Tesla. What do you guys think? The S, Tesla S? Isn't it like a, a mix of Tesla or maybe Tesla looked at Porsche? For that front. I forgot who started making what before. If Porsche started making the Panamera before the Tesla. I would have to search. I can't remember now. But what do you guys think? Now this 143 scale. It's exquisite. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Exactly how in real life. That's what I appreciate. Look at those wheels. You can actually see through and see the rotors. Come on, you can see under the turning under the um, the side mirror. You can see the, the turning signal right there. The airflow opener. Everything is really well made. You can see the Porsche in, in, um, logo there in the front. Beautiful car. It's a big car. I seen them in person. It's quite big. And if you look at it, it still kind of gives you a Porsche style. Look at the back. It still has that pointy tail lights Porsche in the back. You know, this is a fast car, especially for a four door sedan or luxury car. It's a well made four door. If you can afford it, you probably looking at a winner. You know, it's not a cheap car. It's not for anyone. And 
Be careful if you buy used cars that have been used and abused because parts for these cars are super expensive. Porsche is very expensive. Remember, it's a luxury brand, almost going into the exotic brand. You know, Porsche, Ferrari, Lamborghini, they are in the same, almost in the same group. You know, I would say probably Porsche is a little lower, but still, they almost competition between the modern, modern selves. So they are, you know, they are expensive, money, money, money. All right, I'm going to go around so you can have a nice look at the car so you can enjoy it. All right, guys, so I was thinking this car must be a dream car for a lot of family dads or even moms. It must, the reason I say family, fathers or mothers, because it's a sports car wannabe from a sports car brand, but it, you could put four people. So you have... Family of four. I will say family of four because I think there's a separation between the back seats. So I don't think you could fit five. But if it's a family of four, you got two kids, you buckle them up, and you enjoy the ride. <laughs> I would. Why not? You don't have to be boring to be a dad. You could still keep it up. And if you're a... Boom, um, how you call them? When you're in your age that you could already afford one of these. And you want to have some fun in your life, but you still want to have a four-door. This is the right car for you. <laughs> All right, my friends. So thanks for following me. Thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate them. I'm glad you guys are enjoying them as much as I enjoy making them. Let me know what you guys see, what you guys think about these cars what you guys think about my page hopefully you like this video i would love to see the nice thumbs up thank you share them share these cars share what what you like with your friends and family and everything and let me know what you guys think hopefully you subscribe already or you haven't please do so and click the bell next next to the subscribe button it will let you know when i'm posting more videos all right, everyone, take care, and I'll see you on my next video. All right, goodbye.